Hello YouTube, Tracy here. Uh, welcome to my channel. I wanted to talk a little bit about how YouTube changed my life. Being a small time creator with about 1000 subscribers and less than in fact 200 views per video. So before I begin, I would like to do a little introduction. So I started YouTube about three years ago and I was posting consistently for a while but then as time went by I began to give up on it and I stopped posting completely. During this time I was a university student at the University of Nairobi doing my bachelor's degree in broadcast production. So, so but as I continue guys please don't mind how my hair looks and the background i'm home right now i just got back from tanzania a few days ago so my hair is not truly really made so <laughs> i hope you guys don't mind so graduating university uh and coming home to no job and that means you have to start looking for a job i asked myself what would have happened if those few years back I had not given up on YouTube and had consistently continued to make content and post on social media? Mind you, during this period that I was on break, I was traveling across East Africa and within the country as well, which was grounds for making more content if I was being clever because I engaged in a lot of activities like for example during the time I was in Uganda I visited a lot of places did a lot of activities including water biking and even ziplining which in that time if I had put in the time and effort to make the videos I would have been way ahead to wherever I am right now but the reason I did not proceed with it or the reason that I gave up was because I was afraid and um, this is a problem that most small time creators like myself face we're afraid that someone is not going to watch first of all when you're making a video you um, <laughs> and a lot of people will tell you this you put a lot of effort into the videography itself and also into the editing and then it's disappointing for us when we create the content and then we upload and we're like oh i have uploaded the video only for it to get about 20 views so it is disheartening that is not to say that we should give up but in this case that is what I did although I was not making long term uh, long form content on social media I mean on YouTube specifically I was making short form content on other platforms like Instagram and TikTok which were also consistent so as i was doing this i began to ask myself why not just come back to youtube and instead do long term i mean long form content which will help me grow as a creator instead of complaining that i'm not doing well people are not watching videos while the whole time i'm not even uploading how is someone expected to come to a channel that someone is not uploading just to watch videos that are five six months old personally i would not be going to such a channel to watch so those were some of the questions that i was asking myself uh that i could do better in as i as i come back to youtube and that is that was my goal to come back to youtube and continue to make and to create more content and of course i asked myself questions like how will I be able to manage the challenges that small-time creators like myself face? First of all, there are so many challenges, including the fact that uh, people will not be watching your videos. You don't give, people don't care. So to solve this problem, I asked myself and came up to the conclusion that if people don't care, then I should make content that makes people want to care. Why should someone come and watch my video? So that was my first first realization i want to create content that someone cares about that someone has an impact of when they watch 
So at this point, I know you're probably asking yourself, how exactly then did YouTube change your life as a small time creator who was away for a while, only came back maybe a few months, a few months ago back to making content. So this is how YouTube, I mean, changed my life. First of all, as I'm recording this video right now, I am not on the YouTube partner program, so my content is not being monetized as of right now. But so then you're asking, how has YouTube changed your life? There are several ways, more than one in fact, to earn money from YouTube, even if you have not been monetized by YouTube partner program. First of all, I was able to connect and partner with small time collaborators to promote their products and to promote their services on my channel. And by doing that, I was able to earn little money out of it. Now, of course, I don't have a big following and I don't have a lot of viewership, which is why at this point, only small time uh, collaborators were able to get in touch with me. That does not mean that you cannot earn money because we have a saying in Swahili which says kidogo kidogo jaza kibaba amani kidogo kidogo something kidogo kidogo you understand <laughs> so little by little you accumulate some money which is able to help you in your day-to-day -day life so for example me who is a college uh, university graduate I am unemployed at this time but this little collaborations with partners has enabled me personally to travel to Uganda and to travel to Tanzania. And I'm not talking about luxurious travel here. I'm talking about budget travel because that is what I could afford. And I could only afford it because I was partnering with the small brands that were able to pay me for either services or mon monetary wise. So. Like for example, on my trip to Uganda, I was able to do, um, what do they call it, zip lining for free. I did not pay a dime for the whole time that I was zip lining because I was partnering with people who wanted me to share their con the, their services on my social media platforms. So that is just one way in which YouTube can help you earn. Another way in which uh, YouTube was able to change my life uh, was that I was able and I still am able to have the confidence to speak in front of people or when there are people around without feeling embarrassed or ashamed. As an introvert, it is hard, has been hard for me to connect with people, especially in public areas without feeling uncomfortable. But throughout this period as i was uh, interacting with people using youtube to make content i was able to gain the confidence to be able to talk to uh, other people or even just talk to my camera in public without feeling like everyone's staring at me hmm, i'm doing all this wrong you know feeling self-conscious i was able to leave it behind slowly by slowly and to gain the confidence of doing it without caring what people will think because let me tell you something, people will talk no matter what you do, no matter what you don't do. So through, our, through making the videos on YouTube and other social media platforms, I was able to gain the confidence to do it more and more. So as a small time content creator on YouTube, these are the few goals that I'm looking forward to doing more so that my life can even change more than where I am at right now. So first of all, I want to be more consistent with my uh, posting and regain my previous uh, schedule because I had a schedule for posting videos. So this depends with every creator. You could post once per week, several times per week. So it depends on someone's timing, someone's origin, someone's specialty. There is no manual on how many times you should post per week or even per day. So it depends on you as a person on what you want to do. 
So my goal moving forward from here is to make more content and to stay true to myself. I like to travel, so I have wanted to, as long as I can remember, make more and more travel content. So that is what moving forward I will be focusing on. So being consistent in that and doing more travel content videos. Another thing I would say is to be more proactive and to continue to collaborate with other content creators, small or big here on YouTube as a way to grow and to connect in this YouTube community. So that is the way in which YouTube has been able to change my life so far. Do I have any regrets so far on how I have done things and would have would I have done things differently knowing what I know right now? Yes, I do have regrets because I've had the chance to travel within the country in most places than I that I have traveled in the past few years. And I've been able to have the chance to travel in Uganda and in Tanzania, a chance and an opportunity that I did not have previously. Could I have used this opportunity wisely to make more content for YouTube? Yes. Did I do it? No. But now that I know where I stand and where I want to go and what I want to do, I know that I will not take these opportunities for granted anymore. Should I get the chance to go volunteer in India? Yes, I will go and I will use that opportunity to make more content uh, for YouTube and to uh, make sure that I grow better and better as a creator here. Uh, so that is my advice to everyone, to small content creators like myself, to big content creators and to people who even want to start. Just do it. You can start and also do not be afraid to, uh, to think what people are going to say about you. Do not be afraid to take that first step because uh, if you don't do it, you will regret it. I mean... I'd rather do something and stop because I did not like it than to not do something because uh, I feel like I'm going to regret it because I will definitely regret it if I don't try. So that was my advice for this video and thank you for watching and please let me know your thoughts in the comment section and if you would like to see me do videos on particular things, I will be happy to do so. But for this year, I would like, and for this period in YouTube, I would like to make more content related to travel and travel hacking. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye.